The tropics are very quiet right now after a very active early to mid September, not expecting any development over the next five days. However, we are still we still have about 34 35% left of hurricane season, and this will likely change as we go into October. Now, nothing is expected to develop over the next five days, but the Climate Prediction Center, uh, they're just another forecasting branch uh, like the National Hurricane Center. They put out these outlooks and they're highlighting two areas that we'll be watching in the long term, the Caribbean and out here in the, uh, the open Atlantic. So right now there's no immediate threats, but overall trends show that the tropics likely aren't going to stay quiet uh, forever because we still have October, which is you know, can be uh, fairly active, especially during active seasons. Now, the reason it's so quiet right now, and you remember we talked about this back in August. We were in a suppressed phase. We're back in that suppressed phase, but as we went into September, we got into this active phase. It moved over the Atlantic, and that's when we saw all those storms just blossom over the Atlantic. Now, it looks like that active phase will start to return to portions of the area as we go into early October, so the first couple of weeks and going throughout October, which is why we expect we'll probably start to see some development as we go into, uh, you know, the next month of hurricane season. Now, this isn't abnormal. Of course, in October itself, our attention usually turns to the southwestern Gulf of Mexico and the northwestern Caribbean. These tracks usually, if something does form down here, it'll come up to the Gulf of Mexico and then they'll make that hard northeast turn as we start to get those cold fronts down into the area. So that's something we'll be watching. By the way, this is every cyclone that has ever formed in October that's come within 100 miles of New Orleans. Notice where they usually form southwestern Gulf of Mexico, northwestern Caribbean, and of course, it's usually associated maybe with the cold front. Something else, though, we'll be watching that is some good news are these cold fronts come on in. They cool down the waters. Notice our Gulf temperatures are in the lower 80s, so hopefully the front we get coming Monday into Tuesday will help continue this trend. Still very hot down there in the Caribbean, so no tropical threats right now, but that's just a reminder we are far from done with hurricane season. Our weather